Yo, 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 yo. This is Terrell Hall of Fame, D Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. All right, um, well, I guess we can talk about it. The French Bulldog, I've talked about it a little bit, and now I'll talk about accountability. I'm going to tell you the truth, man, and um, I hate to be the, the crabby old man that talks about everybody and tries to tell you everything that everybody's doing wrong and this, that, and the other, but let's talk about this. The situation with the um, with the French Bulldog has gotten to the point that it's gotten to because pretty much of negligence. Oftentimes, we hold the AKC and we hold the UKC to these high, high standards of like they're better than everybody else. But um, there's very big signs that they are no better than a lot of the, these other registries besides the fact that they have better organization and they cover things up better. Um, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but I remember seeing a report to where they said there were over 48,000 uh, French Bulldogs registered in 2018. The French Bulldog very, very fastly rose to being the number one dog in the country. But we would be lying to ourselves if we didn't, if we said that the UKC and the AKC didn't know what was going on. You know, oftentimes we beat up smaller registries for their uh, practices of allowing dogs to be bred in ways that is uh, immoral to the breed. And the UKC and the AKC are no different. The UKC has had very, very strong knowledge about the fluffy Frenchie thing, the Merles, the um, tri-color Frenchies, all of the multiple colors of Frenchies, the big rope Frenchies. And uh, the AKC and the UKC have known about this and they have profited huge. I mean, you do the numbers, you know what I mean? We can make it simple. I think it's 30 bucks to register. You talk about 48,000 dogs registered in one year at 30 bucks. Ouch. <laughs> that's a pretty penny. And that's a very, very, very pretty penny to try to turn down. And I think it's not been being turned down just for the simple fact of profits. They've known about this for a long time. Now we're at a position that the breed is damn near destroyed. French Bulldogs, trust me, I've seen some recently. They're not healthy. A lot of the dogs are not healthy. A couple of my family members have French Bulldogs that when I look at them, I can see this is far from a quality French Bulldog, but everybody is breeding them. Everybody has a puppy meal. They're out here now. And of course, at once upon a time, we were talking about people robbing for them, which we still are, because people were robbing what Lady Gaga's uh, dog walker got shot doing the uh, uh, walking the damn Frenchies. And we've seen people robbed at gunpoint and, and other situations with the Frenchies. But the situation now is that you can get a French Bulldog for $500. The reason being is because of the 48,000 whatever was registered. And that's, keep in mind, it's 2004. So if those numbers are correct from uh, 2018, the numbers have probably went up because the popularity is definitely higher now than it was in 2018. They're everywhere. If you go on certain sites, and I won't shout those sites out because you have a lot of puppy mills on there, but places where you can look for puppies, you can find French Bulldogs for next to nothing. They look all different types of ways. Uh, shit, I saw one that looked like a Chihuahua. And you say, well, why am I beating up on the UKC and the AKC about it? Bottom line, they've done nothing to stop it. They'll set out a press release, but they're no different than some of the smaller registries to where they have literally done nothing to stop and protect the real of French Bulldog. They have continued to all of these ugly ass dogs that you see that are uh, that are around the country. They are registered with AKC and they are registered with UKC. If you look into it, you have seen no strong movement by either of the major registries to stop these people from breeding or to ban those dogs or to strip papers from those dogs or anything. Every time those dogs are registered, every time a litter is registered, they just continue to make profits. And uh, it's hard for me to respect any entity that says it's there to protect you know, the integrity of a breed when you are making millions of dollars off of what's wrong with the breed and you are making no strong attempts to try to fix this. If this doesn't stop in the next, I would say five years, the French Bulldog will pretty much be on its way to being extinct. And I don't mean extinct in, in the way that there will be no dogs that are called French Bulldogs, just true, very, very good breeding stock for that particular breed. 
will have been uh, mixed and distorted by so many of these puppy millers and people trying to look for a quick buck that it, it will greatly disturb even more so than what it has the uh, French Bulldog so uh, AKC UKC y'all need to get your shit together because y'all are the parent you know registries of, the, of this particular breed including the uh, uh, English Bulldog and maybe we'll do a video about that too but you've done nothing to make sure that these breeds get better you've done nothing to make sure that these breeds are protected all you have done is profited left and right from terrible breeding oftentimes like I said we won't shout out those registries but oftentimes certain registries take a pounding for being unethical but let's be honest, the two big registries are showing that their ethics aren't really that great either, as they're not really doing anything to try to stop the things that are happening to some of their breeds, including the Rottweiler, but we would talk about that at a different time. Until next time, y'all, much love. God bless. Peace.